Number Both three. teams are lining up for the kickoff. And we're just about set to get this one underway. Sends it sailing downfield. Utah's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Runs right for a nice game. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. And they get nice yardage on that run. They get four yards on the halfback option. That'll make it seven to seven. Nice gain as he works the right side. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. Three down, three down. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. And they finally tackle him at the 22-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Throws into coverage, just picked off. Really nice cover skills shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 17. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick out to his receiver. That's a gain of two. That makes it third and eleven. Throws out, got his back again. Tackle at the 14. That is a loss of five on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 47. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Once and all, going deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 47. Under heavy pressure. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. Going long, and it's picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 23. to the right and a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds they call it a catch but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this man as i see this play again it really looks like he made the correct call on the field after review of the play the ruling on the field stands well i think the play warranted a review but the call on the field stands from midfield. First down. He's at the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That'll bring up second and three. Fires a bullet out to the right. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And this play is number eight on the drive. And it's caught. That's a game one on the play. That brings him second and goal. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Here we go. And it's the senior. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Receiver dropped it. Incomplete. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. And he's taken down at the one-yard line. Gets out to around the 12. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down right around the 24 yard line. That's a good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. There's 
a strike complete. He's down. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Mike six. Mike six. So at the end of one, no score here. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 39. First down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's good for him. That makes it second and eight. You know, at that point, I think Brad, the quarterbacks are just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful if you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Mike 50, Mike 50. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 30. to thread the needle and it's not going to work. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Cougars. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Houston lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. If he could start this night all over again, I'm sure he would. Well, there's no way his team can come back and win this game with the way he's playing right now. He's got to be able to avoid the mistakes and move forward and try to get his team back in this game. If he can put those picks behind him, he's still got a chance to pull out the victory. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. Passes left, going the other way. At the 30, and they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Got a man. Makes 
second, second and ten. ten. Roger, Roger. Houston is up a score. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Pass to the end zone. Got his man. Touchdown. display of pure speed you know anytime this guy touches the ball he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed and he adds the extra point with a three play 29 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard so the score now 14-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Utes know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you've got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you've got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. So the sack makes this third and very long. He's tackled at the 27. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 22. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. And they got it. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll, That'll make, make it, it second, second and long. long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. The defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Gets rid of it quickly. Got him again! Morning. 
And here's a quick throw. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He holds in his second touchdown catch. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 78-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Goes to the receiver, incomplete. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Three down, three down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He flings it left. Has it to the senior. Tackle at the 31. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you're a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra intercepted. Gets it out in a hurry. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. It's first down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. Caught by the sophomore, and he's immediately tackled. Fires this one. It's intercepted. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Throws it away. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. And down he goes at about the 11. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From the 11 yard line. First down. Nice run up the middle. And he hits him hard at the 11. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They come out on an empty backfield. Let's it fly. And it's picked off. I'm starting to get the sense that this guy's feeling the pressure that he has to make something happen. But what he has to realize is he's only making it worse. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20. Tackle made at about the 21. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. That shows a lot of maturity for a freshman quarter to sniff out the run and make that tackle. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 
We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 21 to nothing, Houston. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Utah's performance in the first half, abysmal, completely awful. David, it was inexcusable, and I don't know who the blame falls on. Probably enough for everybody to go around. Yeah, there's plenty of sharing the blame, but I, when you look at this, th this is college football. Every game counts. If you don't take care of business, you don't get that prize at the end of the season, and if, if you don't want to compete week in and week out, then you're going to be a team that's going to be going to a terrible bowl, and, and your dreams won't come true of trying to win a championship. It's discouraging to watch a team this talented come out here, mope around, and put absolutely nothing good together in the first half. They better do something at halftime. They better change their uniforms or do something to come out in the second half and get ready to play. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Tackle at the 31-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 36. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. Down quickly. And he's taken down around the 49 yard line. In the shotgun and five wide out. Zips it to the back. receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line. First down. He's got it with room to run. And he's level at the 35-yard line. That's a gain of four on play. That brings him second and five. Field. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receivers. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Let's go, down at the 29. Just gets rid of it. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Larry, Larry. Let's go, Let's up. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Let's go. Easy, easy, Watch easy. Look it. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. Number 27. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. And they make 
make the stop at the 21. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Complete, he's out of bounds. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. They go. Check it out, they took the two. They go. He gets rid of this one. It's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Mike six. Mike six. To go. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. Number 24 makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Go. Motion, 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 motion. Reset, reset, reset. Hand off on the draw. They'll get him for a loss. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 27 yard line, it's second down. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. And they'll bring him down behind the line. It's second and 15. Ball on the 17 yard line. The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. It's up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Utes have simply rocked the college football world with an astounding effort in this one. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? They didn't worry about any of the outside distractions. They just kind of locked in to themselves and their coaches, getting ready for this football game, and it's really paid off for them. And he is drilled at the 35. That's a deal of time. Zips it left. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Take 
him down immediately. That makes it second and six. Passes in and it's picked off by the safety. To the 20, the 10. He's in for the score and they're back in it. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Utah is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Caught out of the open. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That makes it second and six. Goes complete. He's got room to work. So at the end of three, the Cougars in front, 24-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Caught, open field. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 28. They come out in a five-wide set. Caught with room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Let's go! The 10. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown! He makes the PAT. So that's a seven play, 74 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. They line up to kick this one away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Tries to buy some time. Tackle at about the 31. Call it a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of four yards. First down. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. 
Ball in the 35. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 43. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick throw, incomplete. Water is receiver. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. They bring him down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Roger, Roger. Mike seven. Mike seven. Let's go. They're not ready for Black this, 85. They're not ready Black for this. They 85. Still play soccer. Y'all playing the wrong football. Cut high. Quick strike, and he drops it. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Utes thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out. Here. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. And down he goes at the 31. Game of 11 on the play. First down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's going to go for the home run. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the way. Second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made around the 31 yard line. No good game of play. That brings us third and ten. There's a strike complete. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. Gets rid of it quickly. Almost intercepted. Number 23 breaks up the pass. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 47. Make 
makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down at about the 41. That's a gain of six on the play. play. That'll bring up third and four. Mike 50, Mike 50. Here's the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. And once again, the coach has decided to go for it on fourth down. A little over a minute in the game. Fires out to his wideout. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Gains his way to midfield. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Seven's a mic. Mike seven. Let's go. Black and five. Oh. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. And the ball game's over. The Cougars get the victory. 31-10. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.